Queen, and welcome to tonight's soccer matchup between Caston and Rochester. Our starting lineups for tonight, first for the Caston Comets, number five, Rowan Jellison. Number six, Eric Miller. Number Jellison, eight, Miller, Rogers. Rogers. Zachary Ryan. Nine, Caleb Stinson. Stinson, number nine. Number 10, John Cruz Aguilar Mendez. Aguilar Mendez, number, number 12, 10. Alex Craig. Number 15, Braden Dousman. Dousman was Number Prague, 16, 12. Ryan Spin. Number 17, Jonathan Pacheco. Spin, Pacheco. Number 21, Edgar Aguilar Mendez. Edgar Aguilar and Mendez. Keeper, number one, Brock Hook. Brock Hook is the keeper. Number one. And the starting lineup for your Zebras. Number three, RJ Karenko. Number five, Adarius Ransted. Number seven, Carlos Placencia. Number 10, Mitchell Schaefer. Can you hear me all right down there, Val? Yeah. Okay. I can't really hear myself as well as I'd like to because of this Number wind, so I was just making White sure that Bailey. my audio was coming through good. Number 21, Grant Bailey. Number 63, Spencer Backus. Number 73, Braden Crom. And In case you can't hear the uh, PA, number three, Karenko. Number five, Ranstead. Number seven, Placencia. Number 10, Schaefer. Wynn, Wallace, Heishman, Davis, Bailey, Backus, and Crom, and we'll get the national anthem. So, uh, Val, I'm going to let you kind of run the show because I'm sure. up here doing the camera as well. I do want to okay. give a shout out to uh, Caleb down there, Caleb Wilson, who's a, uh, a junior at Rochester. He is helping with the production tonight. He was also an intern for us over the summer and did a lot of good work there. Oh, shoot, he's got his headset on. He can hear me. I don't want to praise him too much. Yep. Uh, Be careful. Yeah, sorry about that. I won't tell your dad <laughs> that I said that. Caleb's dad also uh, really key cog in the uh, spokes here at RTC. So, Caston is in Class 1A, Sectional 37. Rochester is in Class 2A, Sectional 22. Caston is in a Sectional of number 5, North White, and number 19, Argus. And then the other three teams in the Sectional are Culver, North Miami, and Winnemac. Rochester's got three top ten teams in their sectional. Yeah, the only good news about that sectional for Rochester this year is they don't have to go to Fort Wayne to play it. Yeah, the sectionals, yeah, they'll travel to Wabash for their sectional. Fort Wayne Dwinger, Fort Wayne Concordia, and Culver Academy are all in the top ten. And then the other four teams in the sectional are the TRC teams, Rochester Valley, Manchester, Wabash. That sounds almost like Tiffany New Valley's football sectional, doesn't it? Yeah. A bunch of crazy good teams and a bunch of uh, TRC teams as well. Mm-hmm. Well, that Valley team off to a nice 2-0 start with wins over Caston and they beat that Metro Rage team, which is a club team out of Wabash County last night, 4-2. Okay, they're Wabash County. I was kind of wondering where yeah, they were from. Yeah, it's a kind of a com combination of Northfield and Southwood students. Okay. Which, As we're underway. Who knows, in a few years that might be a single team anyway. Yeah. Popped out of there by Karenko. Good touch by Caleb Stinson. It goes out. It'll be a throw in for Rochester. And Rochester with three freshmen in their starting lineup. Karenko. 
Crest to get it a Cooper win. And I don't know if it's an advantage or not, but, you know, the freshmen coming in off of the junior high team or the junior high schedule, they play their uh, soccer in uh, the RRC in the spring. So mm -hmm. they're they're basically coming in off of a summer off, but they've, uh, you know, mm -hmm. been playing a lot of soccer here this, uh, this 2020 calendar year anyway. Knocked out by Pacheco. It'll be a throw-in. Oh, it gets through the middle. Cast not able to clear. There's Wyatt Davis. Davis drops it back to Bacchus. There's Wynn. Cooper Wynn. Lost control. It'll be a throw in for Caston. It's. Uh, Weather-wise, there's a, a little bit of a breeze, but it's kind of a cross breeze, so I don't think it's going to really advantage too much uh, any yeah. one team this time. Of course, the last time we saw Cast in that sectional game, that was uh, a big factor, uh, the wind down there at Caston. Nice job by Zachary Rogers to keep the ball in play. But right now it's a battle at the midfield. Caston trying to move up their backs. Centering pass attempt. There, that was John Aguilar Mendez, but Rogers able to break that up. Trying to clear, I think that it inadvertently, it was Bailey was trying to clear it off up. Trying to clear it out, and I think it hit a teammate by accident. And. That is back is getting it out of the box. There's Karenko. There's RJ. RJ might be the fastest guy in the pitch. If he's not, he's close. Throws it down there. That was. Oh, and that's gonna be an own goal. Stop the clock, Caleb. You didn't already? <laughs> Placencia just threw it into the middle of the field and it deflected off a defender and into the net. And Rochester takes a 1 0 lead. Well, when you're a team like Caston that's been struggling to uh, keep the ball out of the net, uh, you don't want to help the other team and give them an own goal to start things off. Nice play by Davis to head it forward. Rochester trying to jam up the middle there. They do a good job. Davis sends it up, intercepted by Edgar Aguilar Mendez. Nice play by Stinson. That's, uh, that's an experienced play by Stinson. Bailey having trouble controlling it, and a shot off the post. Rebound. Saved by Parker Wallace. Well, they got lucky on the first one, and then a great job by Wallace on that second one, keeping that out of the net. There wasn't, any, there wasn't anything Wallace was going to do on that first one. If it was down four inches, it was in. And that was Pacheco. And Parker Wallace is a junior, but this is his third year on the varsity. We're going to see Parker tonight, tomorrow night at Barnhart Field as well. He and Mitchell Schaefer are both going to kick on the football team. Kind of a cross forward, Placencia. Trying to chase after it, and Braden Dossman just kicks it out. It'll be a throw in for Rochester. Cooper Wynn will throw it. Schaefer 
Karenko, nice job shielding. But John Aguilar Mendez looks like he's grown up a lot since last year physically. Just looks a lot taller and a lot stronger. And it's not going to be as easy to dispossess him of the ball. I don't know if you've noticed that, Steve. Well, it's amazing, you know, from freshman to sophomore years. Yeah. You know, they, they tend to do that. And yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty evident up here that... He's grown, yeah, grown about two, three inches at least. Yeah. And and uh, he's put on some good weight. Yeah, he doesn't look like a, a junior high kid anymore. Yeah. That's for sure. A goal kick for Rochester. That's what always, uh, you know, when you talk about freshmen playing varsity football, that's what always amazes me about that is just the, you know, eighth grade to ninth grade, even into tenth grade, you know, the amount of maturity that the uh, the boys will get, the muscle yeah. and all that. Well, nice job. And now Stinson has a ways to run. And that was a nice play by Placencia, I believe. And then Dossman winds up kicking it out. So that was a nice job of uh, some support there. Placencia made a nice play. He's, he seems to be in the middle of everything so far. one nothing Rochester. Under 33 minutes to go in the first half. Throw in for the Zebras. Crom got a foot on it. It's eventually cleared out, and Grant Bailey will run it down. Who's got it? A little miscommunication. Yeah, you don't like to nice see play by Rowan Jellison. You don't, you don't like to see your teammates running each other. Yeah. Hard. Yeah, and especially with Rowan Jellison sniffing around the play because he's a really good athlete and a really good player. Pacheco. Good play by Bacchus. Placencia. I think it's safe to say that Comets are playing a defense first uh, style right now. Yeah. There's just not a lot of offensive help up there. Well, nice play by Stinson. You know, Stinson's a, another guy who's getting stronger over time. And he's not, he's not going to let you just knock him off the ball. Rowan Jellison down the right side of the field. Jellison. Nice play by Bailey to help out his teammate. Rochester in a counter-tagging spot, but they're called for offsides. Mitchell Schaefer just ahead of the line. Direct kick. Stinson. Nice back heel play. I think that was Jellison. Karenko. Rogers tried to make something happen. Craig, Bailey trying to clear, and I think that's going to be a handball, be a direct kick for Caston. Coaches want to make a wall, want Rochester to make a wall, but Jellison kicks it low and Wallace handles it easily. Shot number three for Caston. Direct kick coming from the Zebras. Ooh. That was Schaefer. Hey, 
trying to curve that into the inside the far post, but not quite able to. It was high degree of difficulty. Well, Karenko was kind of coming off of that uh, back side of that. If he would have been just a little mm -hmm. bit farther up there, he would have had a nice angle. Just didn't time it quite right. Backus knocks it up. Be thrown for Caston. Played a little over 10 minutes here. Blackator. Edgar Aguilar Mendez. There's Wyatt Davis running in the way. Nice play there. Wyatt. Nice little diagonal pass to Krenko, who sends a through ball that Brock Hook falls on. Hook out to about midfield. There's John Aguilar Mendez headed down by Davis. Mitchell Schaefer goes down. Jealous and not able to control. Nice play by Edgar Aguilar Mendez for Caston. Pacheco. There is Edgar Aguilar Mendez. That was Ranstead. I think this will be a foul called on Caston. Schaefer again. And that's going to be well wide. It'll be a goal kick for Caston. Sub in. Isaac Craig, Jr., comes in for Caston. I think that's our first sub, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. He'll give Alex Craig a breather. Alex struggling a little bit. The leg. Alex Craig from Caston doing two sports this fall, doing soccer and cross country. Caston got a, they've always had a bunch of kids who do that. Nice play by Placencia. And there is Dossman. Can he keep it in? No. Throw in for Rochester. Throw in by Wynn to Karenko. Good play by Jellison. Headed out by Wynn and a throw in for Kirsten and Rogers. Davis knocks that one out. It'll be another throw in. Coming up on 26 minutes to go in the half, and Rochester leads Caston 1 0 in an own goal. Headed out of there by Bailey. Jellison, Edgar Aguilar Mendez. Tries a diagonal pass. Davis keeps it in. Sends it forward. Knocked out of bounds by. Prom. Throw in for Ranstead. Another throw in for Cast. Shellison back to Pacheco. Centering pass and the shot. Off the side of the net by John Aguilar Mendez. That was a nice ball by Pacheco. It got through there. I think Casson uh, looks like they're a team that's ready to start scoring some goals. They've had some pretty good shots to just mm -hmm. a hair off the mark. Wallace sends it down, and Hook will fall on. John Aguilar Mendez. I 
Knocked out by Keaton Heishman. Another throw in for Kasten. This is some nice moves by Pacheco to create some space. But can't beat the double team. Isaac Craig in the middle of a crowd. And that is Rabor Tindy for Rochester. He's wing number one. Tindy tries to settle it, but it's Pacheco who comes out of there with it. Grant Bailey. Pass midfield. There's Isaac Craig. Rogers on that left flank. Cooper Wynn right there. Those two guys have gotten pretty well acquainted. Placencia. Karenko sends it forward. Can Crom run it down? Yes, he drops it back to Karenko. Knocked out by spin. No, it stays in. I think that was a good drop. I think they mm -hmm. were looking for somebody maybe to come on this right side and fill that lane. Mm -hmm. A lot to like about Placencia. Every touch is a good touch. Eric Miller pushes it out of the midfield. Jellison. Jellison across the box. Wallace chased after it for a little while and decided to back down. Nice play. That's a freshman in Bacchus taking the ball away from a senior in Pacheco. Nice play. Tindy. Stinson and Tindy goes out. Throw in for Rochester. We thought possession would be a big factor in this game, and it's kind of been kind of 50 50, maybe 55 45 casting. I mean, it's been end to end action. It's not like the ball's been stuck in one half of the field. Nice move by Jellison. Nice play by Wynn. Davis and Pacheco. Pacheco can't control it. And it's knocked out by Rochester and John Aguilar. Mendez will throw it in. And Pacheco. It looks like well, it was close to a handball, but nope. John Aguilar Mendez, Pacheco. Boy, nice play by Bailey. Rochester helping each other out on defense pretty well, I think. Yeah, I think so. Bailey's doing a good job back there. And a they, couple of nice moves. Yeah, they had the one great save by Wallace. And it's been. Uh, defense is doing a nice job of. Preventing Wallace from having to work too hard. Crom, Placencia. There's a shot by Karenko off the post. Man, that was a great shot from out distance. So each team is at the post so far. Sub coming in, Schaefer. He's in for Crom. Yeah. Illegal throw. Hey, 
Halfway through the first half, Rochester leading Caston one to nothing. There's Edgar Aguilar Mendez to Craig. Tindy to Placencia. Placencia. Waits for the defense. Centers it. Shot. Saved by Hook. Nice job there by Brock Hook. He Placencia made some nice moves, but Hook kind of stayed square to him. Nice play by Wyatt Davis. Edgar Aguilar Mendez. Schaefer. Pops it forward. They'll try to run it down, but it goes out of bounds, and Caleb Simpson will throw it in. Karenko drops it back. Davis. Nice header by Davis, but it goes out, so it'll be a throw in for Caston right around midfield. A couple of feet in back. Knocked out there by Jellison. Illegal throw. Caston will throw it in. Rochester trying to get organized defensively here. Coach Backus isn't going to be happy with those throws. That's the second yeah. time that they've had an illegal throw call. Mm -hmm. Craig, oh, nice pass. Pacheco scores. And this game is tied. Well, I knew it was a matter of time, Val, before the Comets. They uh, they looked like a team that was ready to score the ball, and they finally put one in. And First goal of the season. Mitchell Schaefer trying to dribble his way through a crowd. John Aguilar Mendez and knocked off Rochester to be a throw in for Caston. Jellison to Pacheco goes out and it will actually be a corner. That goal was the first time you really saw that young uh, backfield of the Rochester Zebras kind of break down in their coverage. Yeah. They had done a really good job up until that point. Into the box. But it doesn't reach a cast and player, and Tindy dribbles it out. Placencia. Angles a pass along the right flank to Tindy. Rabour Tindy. That one is headed down. Eric Miller got a piece. Win. Karenko. Knocked out and it'll be a throw in for Rochester. Fifteen minutes to go in the half. Karenko. Centers it, but it goes out. Yeah. 
Goal kick. Intercepted by R.J. Karenko. Karenko along the right flank. Can Cooper win? Run it down. He can. But there is, it looks like, Stinson back to help out. Boy, Kasten's defense was so great in last year's sectional. They shut out Culver, then shut out Winnemac to win the first sectional title in school history. And they didn't allow a goal in either game. Bailey. Karenko headed again by Edgar Aguilar Mendez, and Karenko sends it back toward the near sideline. Rochester controlling the action in midfield. Centering pass. There's a nice play by Bacchus to get in the way of Pacheco. And then... Bacchus finally able to clear it. Nice play by Dossman to support. Tindy. He will kick it, but Dossman... Send it back to Craig. Knocked out, and that will be a throw in for Rochester. 13 minutes to go in the half, and we're tied at one. I'd have to say, Val, the last uh, 10 minutes or so, the Comets are definitely owning the ball. The yeah. Possession. yeah, it's not 50 50 anymore. No. It's about 70 30, maybe. Mm -hmm. 75, 25. It's it's been a lot of comments here in the last mm -hmm. few minutes. Rowan Jellison to throw it in. Speaking about kids who've grown, Rowan Jellison. He was a tiny kid when he was a freshman. He's not tiny anymore. He's grown up. Of course, was. I think Kasten was saying that that was an illegal handball on Wallace. He shouldn't be able to touch with his hands. The ball was kicked back to him by a Rochester player, but no call. We play on. Well, there's that fine line. Was it kicked back intentionally to him, or was it just uh, deflected? <laughs> Wallace intercepts and punts it down. Nice play by Stinson. Pacheco. Stinson. Settled down by Bailey. Pacheco knocks it off Bailey. And we throw in for Kasten. Subs. Crom. Come back in for Rochester. Alex Craig now in for Kasten. So we got the two Craigs in there, Alex and Isaac. Pacheco can't quite get there. And is that going to be a corner? Yeah, it, it is. I think Bailey got a piece of it. Nice play by Bailey to get it out of there. Mitchell Schaefer. Knocked that by Cass. This will be, a th I think it'll be a throw in for Rochester. Yep. Bacchus to Schaefer. Tindy. Oh, Dossman, I think. Is that a handball? I thought it was. Yeah. But it was not called. And knocked out by Stinson. Throw in for Rochester. Isaac! 
Karenko trying to advance it, but he can't control it. He goes out of bounds, and it'll be a goal kick for Kasten. We have not seen Talon Zyder in this game, and we have not seen Colby Pugh. Rochester's only made one sub so far, Tindy. Karenko with the shot. A little too much muscle on him, and it goes out of bounds. A big old kick for Kasten. Tied at one, nine minutes to go in the half. Game number three for each team. Be a throw in for Rochester. Is that Is that Davis? And he tells him to take a few steps back before he throws it in. Nice play by Stinson. Very nice play. There is Bacchus. Tindy helps out Bacchus. Tries to get a little through ball. Dossman, a little miss hit. He goes right to a teammate. Get it out, get it out! Crom, Tindy. Tindy. Gets in the box, but then knocked out of there quickly by Alex Craig. Whatever was wrong with Alex, he looks looking a lot better now. Headed out of there. Another throw in for Rochester along the far sideline. <laughs> throw in for Caston. Trading throws here. Yeah. Nice play by John Aguilar Mendez to Pacheco. Bailey clears. Edgar Aguilar Mendez with a header. Isaac Craig. Wallace has it. Sends it long. Headed down by Stinson. Karenko. Heishman. Heishman might have taken a bad step there. He's a little hobbled. Caden Heishman, a junior. In that midfield. Pacheco. Drops it off. Stinson. Stinson. Nice shot by Wallace, cutting off the angle. And he sends it far past midfield. Nice play by Eric Miller for Kasten. And Heishman just knocks it out. See a headshot go that far before? That thing went almost half the field there. Yeah. You're a hard headed man, Eric Miller. <laughs> That was a nice touch by Karenko. Be a throw in for Rochester. Well, Rochester's been so blessed these past few years to go from Will Tone to Wade Schaefer to Zach Pickens. Those are special players. Yeah. I'm trying to develop a new identity. Schaefer! And can Crom get there? He sends it back. Cooper win. Karenko. 
Good job by Braden Dousman. Dousman seems some time as a goalkeeper earlier this year, but playing defense today for Caston. And I'm kind of wondering if that's maybe an adjustment that Coach Sanchez has made. Tindy can't really get an angle and shoots it out way wide. I think about four minutes to go in the half, and we're tied at one. Rochester scored at 36-44 left in the half on an own goal. Caston scored at the 17-04 mark on a goal by Jonathan Pacheco. You know, you talked about uh, those three. You talked about Pickens. You know, he had a great junior year, obviously, with Schaefer. Mm -hmm. the, his senior year was so impressive, though, because you didn't know, you know, how much of that, uh, what he did his junior year was just because Schaefer was taking a lot of that uh, pressure. Yeah. But uh, what he was able to do last year was, was so impressive. I mean, just really proved to me that he was the real deal for sure. Probably probably the best, if not uh, top five for sure, Rochester soccer players. Yeah. Throw in for Cassin. Win. Deflected away by Alex Craig. Karenko to Mitchell Schaefer. Nice little move by Mitchell. Oh, Karenko. They wanted him to shoot. And now he does shoot. And it goes off the post. Oh, it might have gone over. But it didn't. Boy, that was a nice shot. Another one of those that hit the uh, crossbar. When he first kicked it, it looked like it was just going to sail wide and, and not be a threat, but uh, it, it, cur it curled mm -hmm. down and in and became a really good shot. Davis, Wyatt playing along the right flank there. We've seen him along the left flank most of this game. He'll be throwing for Rochester. Coming about two minutes to go in the half. Emily Rodas now in for Caston. Nice little slide tackle by Rodas. Heishman. The casting coaches want their midfielder to be a little more aggressive. Foul called on Rochester. Zebra coaching staff didn't like that, I don't think. Stinson. Wow, that went off. <laughs> That went out crumb. He wasn't even looking. Just hit him in the back. Karenko. Last touch by Dossman. Throw in for Rochester. Whoop. Schaefer. Nice play by John Aguilar Mendez to possess that to dispossess Schaefer of the ball from the back side. Oh, nice pass. Jellison. Jellison in the box. Bacchus. Clear, there's Tindy. Tindy turns away from Rogers, gets it to Karenko, who sends it up ahead to Krom, but it's knocked away by Eric Miller. Alex Craig. Ooh. Potentially dangerous, but Wallace gets out there and is able to cover it up. And he punts it past midfield. Can Mitchell Schaefer settle it? He and Stinson are going after it. It'll be a throw in for Rochester. I don't know if you can hear the Rochester coaching staff, Val, when uh, Bacchus had that ball down there in the defensive box, uh, trying to get him to get it cleared out of there a little quicker. I think the, mm -hmm. the youth right there, you know, you've seen him, you've seen... Uh, Grant maybe have a couple plays there where you'd like to get it cleared out a little bit faster, and uh, they'll get that with age, obviously. But mm -hmm. uh, 
Well, great first half here. The uh, score tied 1-1. One, one. got a couple more to go, and we'll get those on there tonight. Oh, wow. Shot on goal right out of the gate there for the Comets. That was, uh, that was a tough save to keep that one out of the net. <laughs> Al, uh, uh, Vinny Stone almost yeah. there from Argus. Yeah, it'll be a corner for Cast in less than 30 seconds into the half. Oh, and that is loose and... Uh, what do we got? They're not stopping the clock. Side judge is calling a handball, looks like, over here. A PK? Uh, if it was Rochester in the box, it will be mm -hmm. a PK, yeah. And there's going to be a little conference here. Well, again, the clock hasn't stopped. Now, now it does. Now it stops. So, boy, Kasson's coming out of the uh, halftime break on fire here. They're the clock operator doing a superb job here. <laughs> okay, what's... what's I think we're going to have a PK, and I think it's going to be Rowan Jellison who's going to take it. When not the ideal first minute plus of the second half, right. if you're a Rochester fan. Yep, that is Jellison. Jellison shot. He scores. Jellison's first goal of the year, and Kasten takes a 2-1 lead. Well, they about scored off the uh, initial kickoff, and uh, they get a uh, handball caught on the Zebras, and Jellison puts it in on the PK, so the Comets take their first lead of the game. Rochester didn't handle the PK very well, or the corner kick very well, and it led to a PK. Nice play by Aguilar Mendez, John Aguilar Mendez to step in front. Schaefer threw ball to Placencia. Placencia trying to evade Stinson. And the shot, and it is wide and is deflected out by Hook, and it'll be a, it'll be a corner kick or a goal kick. Corner, I believe. Uh... Now the officials are going to talk about him. Now they're going to have another conversation here. Clock is running, so hopefully Caleb has that going. Goal kick. Two one, Casting. We're two minutes into the second half. Caleb Stinson's taking all the goal kicks for Casting. Like that, it'll be a throw in for Rochester. Karenko, can Krom get there? Yes. Nice little pass to Schaefer. Mitchell. Mitchell. Nice play by Stinson. And to go out of bounds, and that is going to be a corner kick. If you just joined us here, we're at the uh, in the second half. Rochester is trailing two to one to the Cast and Comets. Both teams coming in with 0 and two records, so both squads looking for their first win. Rochester's first corner kick of the game. Caston's had four of them. Oh, shot and a save by Hook. I don't know if Karenko was quite able to get as much muscle behind that as he would have wanted, but still a nice save. Didn't I don't think he quite got turned the way he wanted to before he got that. So oh, 
Next up there by Heishman. John Aguilar Mendez. Throw in. Pacheco. John Aguilar Mendez can't handle it. Davis. No, excuse me, that was not Davis. That was Adarius Ranstead. Pacheco sends it back. Now they try to run a little give and go play. But Grant Bailey will knock it out. Ryan spin and support. Stinson. Casson coaches wanted Stinson to go down the sideline instead he went down the middle. And Casson just booted and Rogers just booted that forward. Heishman knocks it out, throw in for spin and Caston. Two to one, Caston leads. Thirty five minutes to go. Thirty five and a half minutes to go. Alex Craig drops it off to Edgar Aguilar Mendez. Pacheco. So is Ryan Spin a brother to Joey or a cousin? I need to find that out. Yeah. Two Placencia. Two-time RTC Baseball Player of the Year. Yeah. Joey Spin. Yeah, Joey going to play baseball at Ivy Tech in Is Fort he? Wayne. Yeah. Okay. That still sounds weird to me. I, you know, Ivy Tech having sports. That's yeah. fairly new. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a foul on Rochester. I would assume just certain locations have sports for Ivy Deck? Yeah. In fact, I think Fort Wayne's the only one. The only one? Okay. There's a beautiful Ivy Tech campus in Logan Sport. They built that probably 10 years ago. Mm hmm. And the one I attended classes at, IU Kokomo, or uh, Ivy Tech Kokomo, has, I believe, built a mm -hmm. new campus as well. I haven't seen that one yet. John Aguilar Mendez. Nice play to get free of Ranstead. And not unable to keep the ball in bounds with Pacheco. It'll be a throw in for Wyatt Davis in Rochester. Schaefer tries to settle it while keeping it in bounds. Pacheco was there, but Davis shows some good speed. Mitchell Schaefer actually deflected off the back of Edgar Aguilar Mendez. A little bit of a through ball. It was Ryan Spin knocking along the sideline? Karenko. Nice job by Karenko. Gets it to Mitchell Schaefer. Headed back by Stinson. Jellison with a shot on goal, but it is saved by Wallace. A routine one hopper. Brock Hook falls on a loose ball. You can tell Placencia knows how to play soccer for a freshman, you know? Yeah. It just... He's just going to get bigger and stronger and that and faster, and that'll help. He'll become more of a playmaker over time. Parker Wallace sends it down. Dossman knocks it out. That should be thrown for Rochester. Tindy will come in and give a Darius Ranstead a breather.
Karenko. Krom takes a shot, but that was way wide, and I don't know, it'll be a goal kick for Kasten. Kasten's got a tournament at Frankfurt on Saturday. This is a busy start of their season. Five games in a week. They two get to play two games at Frankfurt. Pacheco to John Aguilar Mendez. Sends it down. Can Pacheco catch up to it? Nope. Grant Bailey gets there first and knocks it out. Throw in for Kasten. I gotta say I'm a little uh, Frankfurt's TV network down there. Have you mm -hmm. have you heard what they call it? A hot dog TV or the hot dog network. The hot dog network. Yeah, that's like the best network you could call it, right? Yeah, either that or the Wiener Circle, but yeah, okay, <laughs> hot dog network. Frankfurt hot dogs. It's got to be one of the most interesting mascots. Not sure the backstory on that one. Wallace. Ooh, knocked down by Stinson. Kind of looked like he knocked it down with his, with his hip or his side. Nice shot by Bacchus uh, to keep Jellison in check. Now Jellison gets it back. Well, just a nice effort there by Cooper Wynn. But he's called for the foul. Stinson knocks it ahead. Jellison can't settle it. Headed up by Bacchus. We throw in for Rochester after some jousting there at midfield. We throw in for Caston this time. Tied at one at the half. Castanelli's two to one. Twenty-eight and a half minutes left. Pacheco. Edgar Aguilar Mendez. That's that was a nice, nice play by Bacchus. The last 20, 25 minutes of gameplay has kind of been dominated by the comments. Mm -hmm. Rabur Tindy. So Rogers got a touch. There's Wynn along the right flank. Has to send it up to Crom. Boy, Hook, I think, might have given himself up quickly, but that was a nice play by Stinson. Nice play by Caleb Stinson, and then knocked out. It'll be a throw in for Rochester. Some good support there by the Zebras. Throw in, or are they calling a foul? Throw in. Is it okay? I just heard one of the Rochester coaches say foul, so. I... Oh, yeah. never mind. You were right, Steve. It's a foul. It'll be a free kick. Let's see if Schaefer can put something dangerous toward the net. Tries to spin it in there, but Eric Miller gets it. And a shot, and it goes long. By Crom. I think that was just a hair wide, too. So yep. I don't know if you can really say it was on goal or not. It wasn't really on frame. <laughs> Got a double header of soccer coming up next week. We'll be up at uh, Eugene Snyder Field, the Argus Dragons. Hosting Elkhart Christian, girls playing first, and the boys. We'll have that for you on uh, the web only on Tuesday. 
And I'm curious to see well, I'm curious to see both the boys and the girls at Argus, especially the the boys, just what what do they look like? Yeah. Uh, they're coming off of a, a tough one against Warsaw, and uh, the girls lost their opener to Kentucky Valley, and then they're playing Plymouth tonight at right, home, Right, first home game of the year against Plymouth. Yeah, so be interesting to see. I don't think Plymouth is – that's off the side net. I don't think Plymouth is real tough this year. I think they graduated a ton off of that team that was really good last year. A nice effort there by Schaefer, but it goes off the side of the net. It'll be a goal kick for Kasten. Of course, we'll have uh, yeah. Argus boys play Oak Hill on Saturday. And Change uh, the start time on that one, too, I think. Yeah, they moved it up to 11 a.m., but uh, the Golden Eagles are always good. Oh. Tindy Heishman collided, and that is going to be centered up. I think it was deflected off a Rochester defender, and Wallace falls on it. Is Oak Hill soccer field turf, too? I believe so. I know everything else is. I would imagine it would be. Placencia. Headed by Wyatt Davis. John Aguilar Mendez. Tries to dribble down the middle. Through ball. Of course, we'll be back tomorrow uh, with Talking Sports with Val. We'll have that live on the web at 2 o'clock. And then we'll also play that on Channel 4 for you right before the football game. So mm -hmm. it'll start at 5 with the pregame uh, for the football game starting at 6.30 on Channel 4. Mark up with him. Rhino, stay with him. Rhino, stay with him. Caleb, Rhino's up. Be ready for him. Another illegal throw in. Mm -hmm. That's three now on the Zebras. That one looked like it might have been illegal, too, by Kasten. Off mm -hmm. the side a little bit. Knocked out by Rochester. We throw in for Kasten. Spin. To John Aguilar Mendez. But intercepting that is Schaefer. Mitchell. Last touch by Kasten. Throw in for Rochester. The Zebras need a goal. They trail 2-1. to one. That was Rogers. A nice touch, but it's going to be a goal kick for Rochester. Win the ball in the air, White. Win in the air. That's you, White. Edgar. Wallace punts it. Goes over Miller's head. Sits in there to back up. Rogers. Well, Rogers and Wynn have been getting after it all night. Just good hard competition there. Last touch by John Aguilar Mendez will be throwing. Nice job by Tindy. You know, Val, we didn't talk a lot about uh, the new Rochester coach, Eric Backus, uh, coming in here after one year of Elmer mm -hmm. Roke, but uh, he's put together a really good assistant coach list here. Yeah. Travis Bonfiglio, Luke Sutton, and Tyson Kalischuk. Uh, I know they've all got a ton of experience. Tyson was a four-year starter. Uh, in his college days at Huntington, and I think was a, a step or two away from making the Canadian national team. I mean, so just a, a ton of experience on the sideline for this Rochester Zebras team. Mm -hmm. Stinson, free kick. Wyatt Davis deflects. Trying to settle. Mitchell Schaefer. And a little give and go. Spin. Liam Heishman struggling out there, but playing hard. And forces Jellison to knock it out, so we throw in for the Zebras. Stay with them, guys. Keep them marked up. Good 
Good job, Light. Right good. Good, turn. Turn. good job, Rhino. Good job, Rhino. Good ball. Good job, Rhino. Yeah. 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 Play aggressive. Chellison. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh, that's real dangerous. But Parker Wallace was able to get a hand on and knock it off the post. Pacheco. Pacheco scores. Caston leads 3 to 1. 21 05 to go in the game. Yeah, Wallace was able to save that initially, but the uh, Zebra's just not able to clear that ball out of there, and the Comet's just relentless as far as keeping that pressure on the Zebra's and able to punch that one in. Nice job again by Stinson. Davis having trouble finding it. Spins back toward him. I've been impressed with this cast and team, Val. I wasn't sure what to think, you know, coming in 0-2 and, and, you know, the giving up 14 goals to none scored. You, you kind of wondered, you know, hey, mm -hmm. what's going on? But uh, they've looked pretty good here tonight. Really, after about the first half of the first half, they've really settled in and kind of dominated this one. Mm-hmm. Stinson on the free kick sends way past the goal line, so it'll be a goal kick for Wallace and the Zebras. Ranstead back in for Tindy. And I think if you're Coach Backus, you kind of knew that this was going to be a, a rebuild kind of season for the Zebras, and you're going to have nights like this where you, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're just struggling with a couple right. things, and it's not like you've got to completely redo the entire playbook you just got to do a little bit better job here and there and right they'll be in good shape right and just when you get more stability then you'll get greater numbers as well and you'll have more you know possibilities for substitution yeah well you, now you're done by two goals and you've got only 16 kids it's just not easy yeah, and I think that was part of, too, what you saw in the late in the first half. You could kind of tell they were kind of slowing down a little. Schaefer shot oh, off Hook's hand, and that was crossed the it line. is still loose. No. And I sure look like it from here, but uh, I don't have a real good angle up here either. But uh, The official is going to talk about this. Hold on. <laughs> They're going to confer the side judge. Yes. What are they calling? Drop ball. A drop ball? Is that what you said? I don't know. I would think it would either be a. I don't know. I'm not sure what they're calling here. I would think it'd be a goal kick. Here is Edgar Aguilar Mendez, headed by Jellison. But a nice job of knocking that down by Heishman and sending it back in the cast in territory. I think it's going to be a foul on Rochester. Yep. Coming up on 18 minutes to go in the game, and Caston leads 3 to 1. Karenko. Like that by Dossman. Subs coming in for Rochester. Tyler Reese and Braden Furnival are in for the first time. So is Dakota Burden. Furnival's a sophomore. Burden's a sophomore. Reese is a sophomore. 
we've got a big uh, Hoosier North Athletic Conference volleyball matchup going on uh, on Culver TV tonight up at Culver, the Cast and Comets on the road to take on the Culver Cavaliers. It's yeah. a young up-and-coming Culver team taking on a, a Cast and team that uh, has had a nice start to their season. I think they're 3-1, 2-1? 2-1. 2-1 to start the season. Just yep. came off of a three-set win against Carroll the other night. Yep. Culver beat Oregon, Oregon Davis the other night. Of course, that was the OD team that knocked them out of the sectional last year. Right. Schaefer sends it up. Nice. Unable to run it down as Burden. Brock Hook falls on it. It's a Culver team that's going to be interesting here the next couple years, see where they can go because mm -hmm. they've got some talented players. Craig. A little bit of a miss hit by Heishman. But Wyatt Davis is there to back up. Heishman knocks it out. It'll be a throw in for Rowan Jellison and Caston. Jellison throws it down the sideline. Davis touches it, goes out. It'll be another throw in for Caston. They lead a 3-1. to one. Two goals in this game for Jonathan Pacheco. One by Rowan Jellison on a PK. Throw in. Whoop. That might be a handball. It is. That was in the box. Might be another PK for the comments. There's yep. a stop clock. Second handball PK for the Comets. Edgar Aguilar Mendez is going to take the kick. Shoots. Scores. Just went right down the middle, and Caston now leads 4 to 1. Wallace guessed wrong. Yeah, it wasn't a rocket shot by any means. If he would have went left, he would have stopped it easily, but he uh, was going to the right, and the ball went to his left, and mm -hmm. that's all it took. Schaefer. Maddie Sproud just checked in for Caston. Maddie, another person doing cross country and soccer at the same time this fall. Stinson. Rowan Jellison. Jellison along the right flank. Davis chasing him. I would assume that cast and invite's coming up here pretty soon. Is that Labor Day weekend? Cross country? Yeah. They, yeah, they, it's they, always the Saturday before Labor Day. Yeah, that big invite, so a couple weeks away. Mm -hmm. That's the Saturday before Labor Day, and so is the Manchester invite. Because we've got the Zebra invite coming up this Saturday. How many teams we got coming this year, do you know? I don't. Yeah. Jellison takes a shot, but it goes way over the goal. And we're going to have a sub, and Parker Wallace is going to step out. So this can be Reese coming in. Reese is not going to take this goal kick. It's going to be Schaefer. 4 to 1, Caston coming up on 13 and a half minutes to go in the game.
Placencia. Nice job by Dossman to move that ahead. Some nice dribbling by Jellison. Nice job by Jellison. He shoots and it's saved by Reese. Braden Furnival. There's Sproul. Can't keep it in. Throw in for Rochester. Schaefer. Knocked out by Cast and will be thrown for Rochester. Schaefer. Oh, and Brock Hook falls on him. And the clock will stop at 12.03 left for the injured player. Schaefer is able to walk off under his own power. A little ginger there, but I think he's going to be all right. Yeah, nice sportsmanship there by Rowan Jellison. You know, a lot of these kids, I mean, they're basically neighbors, so... They grow up in the same fair a lot of times, you know, showing mm -hmm. animals in Rochester, and so it's a, it's amazing too. Just now with all the social networking and stuff, just how intertwined kids are with different schools, and mm -hmm. much more so than it used to be. Obviously, yeah. Karenko, nice shot by Stinson. Karenko did a nice job avoiding the slide tackle of Edgar Aguilar Mendez, but it was Stinson who shut that down. Wyatt Davis. RJ Karenko pass spin. Nice pass to Placencia. Shot and a save by Hook. Yeah, that was a nice job. I didn't see who the defender was. I, that was spin or was that Dossman? It was Dossman. I don't know if you noticed that uh, move by Karenko there when he turned with that ball. That was uh, mm -hmm. that was pretty. Nice, nice. Go Pacheco trying to send it up to Jellison. Nice try, guys. Goal kick for Rochester as we come up on ten and a half minutes to go. Caston leads four to one. Rochester scored first. Caston scored four goals in a row since. Bailey. Nice touch by Karenko. It was sub. John Aguilar Mendez is going to come in. Give Alex Craig a breather. Like that's by Pacheco. 
throw in. Dakota Burden. There's Jellison. Excuse me, uh, Stinson, who kicks it down to the other end. There's Heishman. Caden Heishman. Sends a diagonal pass up. Intercepted by Dossman and knocks it out. Throw in for Rochester. Rowan Jellison. Foul on Sproul. Trying to ward off Furnival, and it'll be a free kick for Rochester. Karenko along the left flank. Eichmann can keep it in. It'll be a throw in for Kasten. Sub coming in, Isaac Craig. Give Zach Rogers a breather. <laughs> Bailey to Placencia, freshman to freshman. Placencia missing that is Dossman. Dakota Burden. And it goes out, it'll be a throw in for Rochester. Under eight minutes to go. Deflected by Stinson. Davis. Oh, that might be a handball. And if it's in the box, it's going to be a PK. Yeah, it should be. Yep. Yep. Clock stops with 7.23 to go. That's the third uh, handball PK that we've had in this match. I mean, I can't remember seeing uh, more than one a season. Now it's three here in this game. Which is kind of an innocent ball into the box. PK attempt by Karenko. He scores. RJ gets his second goal of the season. Four to two now. Nice job by RJ there. That that would be that would have been just about impossible for Hook to stop. That was placed dead in the corner. You know, if they can uh, if they can add another quick one here, I mean, you know, it's it's not over by mm -hmm. any means. That that could give some life to the zebras right there. That's going to be a foul on Davis. It's not in the box, but it should give a pretty good direct kick, free kick try. Let's see if I think Jellison is the one who takes these. Well, that's a, that's this a could, beautiful spot if you're casting. Yeah, this could be dangerous, especially if you're Reese and Goal. You uh, tries to pass and knocked out of there by Bailey. Didn't do much with that one. Nice. Nice support there by Dossman. Short. You know, on the other side of that, if you're casting, you want to get an answer to that uh, PK goal by the Zebras and keep this one kind of out of reach for the yeah. Rochester. A goal kick for Rochester. Mark up! Win in the air, 50-50! Good job, Maddie. Rhino, be ready to get back. Rhino, Maddie, switch. Davis. It's a nice play by Davis. I mean, obviously, we we know how good of an athlete Wyatt Davis is. <laughs> he is 
real strong. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of people on the uh, wrestling mat that would agree with that. Yeah. They might add a few more adjectives to real. Yeah. <laughs> Hook runs down that long pass and will punt it. Right at Karenko, chests it down. Miller gets a touch. Miller sends it along to Sproul. Intercepted by Furnival. Furnival back to Heishman. RJ. Sproul went down. Heishman. Backus with a touch. Karenko trying to split defenders. Jellison wasn't having it. Edgar Aguilar Mendez. Rowan Jellison. Re scoops it up. That was not on goal. I apologize if you're watching at home and I just made you sick there with that little back and forth at midfield, but uh, not much you can do when they're this close to you. If you have problems with the camera work, it's uh, it's me. So you can you can holler at me. I can take it. A foul on Cass and on John Aguilar Mendez. He fouled Win in order to maintain possession. Hook falls on the free kick. He beat Placencia to the ball. I mean, that uh, that could have been dangerous if he goes mm -hmm. down and can't get that ball. Placencia yeah. is right there. Nice job by Hook. Bailey. Nice play by Edgar Aguilar Mendez. Pacheco. Jellison. Looks like a little bit triangular passing there. Bailey had a nice play there getting that ball back. Isaac Craig had it for a moment. That was a nice play. I think it was Crom who got in there. Especially knocked out. Throw on for Caston. Whistle. I don't know that it was all the way out, was it? That's the oddity of uh, soccer, right? If you're any other sport, if you touch the line, it's out. Mm -hmm. Soccer, it can be on the line, but outside of the line, but it's still on the line. It's still in. Yeah. Schaefer will come in and give Davis a well-deserved breather. It's good to see Schaefer back out there after he got yeah. nicked up a little bit there in the box. Looks like he's doing all right. I mean, about 2.15 to go in the game, and Caston leads Rochester 4-2. Amazing how much faster these kids can recover from injuries. Yeah. You throw in for Rochester. Under two minutes to go now here in the ball game. Yeah, that's gonna be a foul on Heishman. Jellison beat him to the ball. Stinson. Oh, that was a nice play. John Aguilar Mendez can't finish. Bailey chases him down. That's good recovery there by Grant. Yeah. 110 to go in the game. Looks like Jan might, John might have the uh, corner there, and, and Bailey was able to uh, beat him to the spot. Again. This will be a confidence builder for Caston. You kind of hinted at it, Steve. They look like they were ready to score a goal, and they wound up scoring four. And, you know, you give up the first one, it could have been easy to say, here we go again, but they got tough. 
well, not only giving up the first one, but doing it on an own goal, yeah. and that could, you know, that could be a demoralizer. And you got to give the comments a lot of credit. They didn't uh, let it get them down. And Stinson tried to deflect that one in. It didn't go. It'll be a goal kick. And Schaefer will just drop it forward to Bailey. Final 15 seconds. Heichman. Stayed in. Now it goes out. Three seconds. Uh, if the ball hits you in the head, it's yours to keep, Val. Oh, caught that one, didn't you? It's interesting that happens right before the buzzer. Right. 